Hello Aquarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your messages from spirit reading for January 2021 for the sign of Aquarius. So I hope you well. Let's get straight into your reading Aquarius and pull your spirit message card. So, oh, there it is. Okay, <laughs> just flipped over as I was saying that. I really like this energy because you see that it's almost kind of like this angel or celestial being is giving this person a hug, you know? So we have reach out. We know you're reaching out right now for help due to a current situation. Support is as much about the physical act of accepting help where offers were offered as it is about the emotional benefits and learning that it's truly okay to accept support however it's presented to you. Very nice energy, Aquarius. And remember these spirit message readings, they can just be advice, it can be something specific as well, um, but it can just be, you know, advice from spirit as well. So let's see what we get for you. Definitely an energy of don't take something all on your own, you know. That flew out as well. Your cards are flying out today. So I've got, oh, so number 30. And we have sacred divinity. There are two paths ahead. It might well be there's a crossroads. You need to make some kind of choice. Interesting energy, Aquarius. Very nice indeed. Okay, so I'm going to pull three cards. The first card is the issue or challenge you need help from Spirit on. Second card is the advice from Spirit. And the third card is the outcome should you take the advice. And then we'll clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. So in your challenge position, we have the Knight of Swords. Hi, Priestess is advice from spirit very nice and oh the hierophant lots of spiritual energy here so knight of swords is generally gemini um it could be your energy as well and we have the hierophant which is generally a card of taurus so can we clarify these cards on the table please for aquarius what does Aquarius need to hear the most, please. January 2021. Thank you. So we have the two of coins. The four of cups clarifies the high priestess. And the hierophant is clarified by the seven of swords. Bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so we have, there are two paths ahead. I mean, it feels like there could be a choice between two things too. And it, it feels like that's the challenge. Knight of Swords can be a card of incoming news, information, um, wisdom, knowledge, I mean, call it what you will. It, it feels in this situation something's coming in, but it's causing you some kind of conundrum. Because we have the Two of Pentacles here, Aquarius, which can actually be, I mean, sometimes the Two of Pentacles can be a card of feeling overwhelmed in a situation. Um, it might well do that to you. This news may well do, do this to you. It might knock you off balance. But there's definitely an energy with the Two of Pentacles. It can be about choosing between two different areas as well. Um, two different opportunities or two different goals or two different paths, for example. And almost kind of like just juggling around, you know. It, it feels like in this energy there's a need to prioritize maybe make your mind up in a situation and that is the challenge now 
Now the pentacles, it can be in terms of money and career. You know, sometimes this can be about where you're, you know, you might have been juggling, you know, uh, finances as well. And then it might well be something's coming in very quickly. And it might, it might, it feels like something's knocking you off balance and there's, it might split your mind in terms of which way you want to go. Because the, the four of, of cups is somebody who is being shown the way through their intuition. But, you know, with crossed arms, crossed legs, they're not sure if they're going to follow it. You know, this is some, this is the path forward. But do I really want to follow it? Do I really want to move? It's an inactive card. It's, it can be a card of stagnation. So it feels something's coming in here, Aquarius. And Spirit is saying you need to trust your intuition because this person has four options, whatever those cups represent. And cups can be linked to your emotions, your happiness, your joy, but also the range of the spectrum of emotions as well. And there's definitely some kind of energy here that the universe is guiding you in a specific direction. And again, that's emphasized by the High Priestess, which is very much about trusting your intuition. Um, instinctively, you know how you feel in terms of going in a certain direction. But again, there's this feeling of, I don't know if I want to go in that direction, or somebody maybe not listening to their intuition, or somebody who is not feeling ready. It's one of those situations, it feels like there's a kind of stagnant energy here. Your intuition is telling you which way you need to go, but then there's this energy of, of possibly holding back. Do I want to go down this path? It feels an interesting energy, maybe giving something some deep thought. I really need to think about this in a deep contemplative way because it feels like something's coming in so quick it might throw you off balance and you just need time to think to consider your options but there's definitely an energy of you don't want to miss this opportunity definitely an energy of um consider things carefully but nevertheless trust your instinct because you're being given the way forward here I'm going to clarify this Seven of Swords. So I have it clarified. The Seven of Swords is clarified with the Queen of Wands and what is the eight of, sorry, the nine of, of pentacles? And again, this hierophant energy, I mean, this, the, the hierophant energy is a card of, it can be a card of asking questions. What's it all about? Which, why is this happening to me? Which way do I go? You know, it's, it's the kind of things that we, we ask God, the universe, the divine for us. Those of you who are spiritual, you know, it, it feels in this situation, it, it can be about finding spiritual wisdom through faith. Um, you know, getting answers. And it definitely feels in this energy that you're being told to have faith. Trust how you're being guided now. You're being watched over. And, you know, the Hierophant is the representation of God, the divine, the universe on earth. I mean, it can also represent a holy person in your life guiding you as well, Aquarius. Um, so it might well be for some of you, you might be asking help from that too, from them too. But the, the Seven of Swords is a card of... It can be a card of, of so I'm looking at these cards. It can be a card of, of um, self-deception, self-sabotage, holding yourself back. There's definitely an energy of, of something is holding you back now. You need time to think about a situation. 
and definitely an energy of now is the time to have faith and it feels like to go for something now um, but it's almost kind of like going for something in a covert way you know the queen of wands is is a very she's a male or female energy but she can be a leader energy um I mean, she's somebody who is is very passionate, very magnetic, um, very so. She's she is that kind of social butterfly. Um, she's a great leader because she's very intuitive. She's very perceptive um, about her own circumstances, but also to do with other people. She she's very calculated. She makes calculated choices, decisions, and takes action to go for what she wants. And it feels for some of you there's a cho there's a choice between two areas here. The universe is leading you in a specific direction. There's this feeling of holding back that I'm getting, Aquarius. Um, and she is somebody who takes decisive action, who acts on her intuition. So as an energy, it is an energy of act on your intuition now because that's exactly what she does. Um, and she understands how to bring success and growth and fulfill her passions and desires in whatever aspect of her life by doing exactly that. And in this case, it feels to do with the Nine of Pentacles, which can be very good in terms of money career. You might have been seeing, I mean, she can also represent a leader, somebody who you may have had um, conversations with or an opportunity may come up to work with this person and it, it feels to do with it's bringing in greater abundance material security and it feels that's the energy here Aquarius yeah because some of you want to get more money it feels some of you want some kind of pay rise or promotion or um, next level up opportunity I mean call it what you will greater responsibility more pay this, the Nine of Pentacles is a card of standing in your own abundance, your own success. Um, and the Seven of Swords, it feels like, and it is Aquarian energy, the Seven of Swords, is where you have a goal uh, and you're putting in a strategy, but you're doing it covertly because obviously you don't want other people to find out about it. Um, so you're, you're keeping your cards close to your chest and it feels to do with some kind of promotion, job opportunity, um, business opportunity, I mean, call it what you will, but it's bringing in greater abundance, material wealth into your life and an opportunity to feel pretty good about it, stand in your own success, your own um, financial wealth, abundance from all your hard work. So it feels in this situation, something has been going on covertly here um, or you may well, something may come in that might throw you off balance. But nevertheless, it feels like a good thing which it feels like a good thing because, you know, this is Jupiterian energy. That Jupiterian energy wants to bring gifts. It's very good in terms of fortune, career, that kind of energy. And there's something to do with deep thought to a situation. So whatever this opportunity or these, this, this path, it might well be that you stay on the path that you're on or you go for something new here. And again, the Seven of Pentacles is a card of evaluation. But the... Seven of Pentacles is also a card of, of taking stock. I put all my energy into this situation and I'm not getting the reward or the, the money or the, the financial reward that I deserve. It can be that kind of energy and a little bit of frustration that goes with it. And sometimes it can be something that you've been working at. It might well be. Um, there's a reason to keep something close to your chest, but something's coming in that is going to give you more money. Feels like more money. Uh, a promotion, job opportunity, um, call it what you will, but it feels like doing something covertly, there is finally recognition coming your way. It's either from a separate company or it could be within your company where you just have to keep your cards close to your chest. Um, and that's what this is about. You're going from the Seven of Pentacles to the Nine of Pentacles. But it feels like there is some kind of covert, covert opportunity, something covert that you're doing. You're keeping your cards close to your chest. And it definitely feels like you're giving some deep thought to some kind of opportunity that is splitting you, that is causing you to be at a crossroads. But nevertheless, it feels like now is the time to take action. 
because it feels like it's bringing in greater abundance, material security, um, self-worth, self-esteem. It feels very much about being recognized here. Could be by somebody, by a company um, and getting more material reward as a result. So it, it feels something's going to come in, some news, a conversation, call it what you will. It's going to bring swift change here. But I think it's a good thing. It's something that you have to think about. But the universe is saying, listen, instinctively, you already know what you want to do. And, you know, you're absolutely being guided forward to receive this gift that the universe is trying to bring into you. And it definitely feels in this situation is to be more, more abundant, more material success, greater material reward achievement. So I like this energy for that reason. It feels very, very beautiful. And the interesting thing is, now that I'm seeing these cards, they reach out. It feels like this is also linked with the Knight of Swords. Somebody is reaching out to you. Some, something happens. Someone's going to reach out to you. And it feels like they will cause you to choose between two paths. But nevertheless, Aquarius, it feels instinctive. You trust your instinct. You're not going to go wrong. You know? The challenge is to have faith in your instinct and act upon it. And that's exactly what that Queen of Wands does very well. Okay. Yeah. We have Panda Balance. Ask how to bring balance to the situation and into your heart. Very nice energy. I mean, sometimes this can be something that throws you off balance. And you need to prioritize. And it, again, think about something in order to get balanced thoughts, balanced judgments, call it what you will. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Aquarius. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.